Good morning, teachers and fellow classmates. We are the proposition team in response to the topics as to whether or not parents have the right to determine the genes of their unborn baby. Our group consists of me, Cordia, John Hill, Erica, and Shu Wen. We agree that parents have the right to determine which genes their unborn baby will have. The reason is because it can help to promote awareness and intention that people are able to produce a smarter, healthier, and happier babies. For instance, some couples are not able to have children because their children will have genetic disease and die before they are born. Or when they are very young, some may suffer from the rest of their life since they are born. Therefore, with the technique used to change the genetic makeup of the embryo, allowed these parents to have a healthier child. For example, in China, due to the one child policy, married couples tend to prefer to give birth to male than female. In addition, they are only allowed to have one baby. Hence, if the woman is carrying a female baby, they tend to abort it. Abortion rate therefore increased. If they are able to select the gender, it is possible to reduce abortion. Another example is, un up until the body cell gene therapy treatment in March 2001, the 18-month-old baby lived in a sterile bubble to prevent him picking up infections. Doctors took some of his bone marrow and used a non-infectious virus to carry a healthy version of the genes into the immune cell of the cell bone marrow. The new improved bone marrow was then re-implanted into the turtle where it gradually produced new immune cells. These immune cells entered the turtle's bloodstream and protected him from infection. Now, Thanks to gene therapy, he is free to run around and his immune system is similar to that of other children his age. Next, by having genetic modified offspring, we can eliminate the problem of defective genes causing various disorders such as Huntington's disease. By being informed of the genetic disorder, measures can be taken to prevent the baby from being affected by his disorder. Such measures include genetic modifications so that the genes can be altered to remove the unwanted genes and even add genes that parents think the child should require. For Lida case, abortion isn't necessary. We would like to touch upon the definition of right and gene Based on web definition, right are normative principles or entitlement. This is to say, rights are rules about what is allowed of people or owned to people. Although genes are defined as the basic unit of heredity, it is only fair that parents get to choose what is best for the child. Some people who are born with abnormality abnormality would lead a tough life and that's not what we want to see isn't it seeing people suffer over things that they cannot choose is such a pity therefore if we are given the chance to do gene modification it suggests i suggest we give it a go as we can eliminate the problem of defective genes and to prevent hasty decisions such as abortion just because of the specific genes we don't desire. Lastly, we will touch on designer babies. The purpose of this is to cater to the need of couples who are not able to have children due to genetic diseases, which might be passed on to them and cause death. Even before birth, with designer baby, it saves a children from suffering and reduce the cost and emotional strength of looking after an ill child. In a few cases where parents have had, had one child with a serious blood blood disease, they have used IVF to select embryos so that they can have a second child that can act as a future tailor-made blood or blood 
narrow journal. To conclude the argument, we made the statement that parents have the right to determine the genes of their unborn child.